Hi, so cruise control on the Mini 2 SE. I bought these little um, things that go on these control sticks on Amazon, don't know if you can see that. But I've only just got them today and I'm going to test them out. What I'm going to do is I'm, I'm in a place called the Ridgeway and I'm going to walk and set the drone at my walking speed and then let's see how we get on. So this is how we connect them to the controller. I'm just going to have to, I've only got my selfie stick today. Uh, that's the best I got. Right, so this is what the controls look like. So we just push them on like that, clip them on. I'll put them on both, even though we may not need them on both. And then basically, oh, I'll try and do this with two hands. I don't know if I'm focused, but by twisting these knobs, I'll twist it to maximum. See, the stick is facing down all the time. So that's what I'm gonna do. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my um, action for free camera, take it off and put it on my chest mount here. And let's go flying. All right, I still need to turn the drone on. Let's take the cover off. Take the gimbal cover off, unfold the arms. And turn her on. And she's on. I'll probably do a hand launch, but I'll just put it on there for now. Actually, I need to put everything back in my bag. Because we'll be walking. So a selfie stick can sort of fit in there. I shall put this around my shoulder. Right, let's get a screen recorder going. Record, uh, I like to have media and mic as a backup audio. All right, let's come off this page. It's a bit breezy today, but All right, let's click go fly. Uh, Takeoff permitted 15 satellites. I shall start recording. Hopefully you can see me there, yeah. Uh, well, I've got everything off the floor, I know, yeah. Right, so let's go ahead and take off. Let me angle this camera, you should be able to see it. Take off. Take off. Come on then, spin up. What's going on? There we go. I don't know what happened there. Hopefully you can see that. All right, we've got a warning about Benson, but that's to our right, and we'll be going, we'll be flying this way. So let's, actually we'll be feeling flying backwards so I can see my face. So, there we are. Let's lower that gimbal down a bit. Uh, it's quite windy. Right, let's raise her up a bit. I'll lower the gimbal. So we want to fly backwards. So what we're going to do, we are going to rotate this round and screw that knob in until we get to a walking speed of, I'm guessing, one metres a second. Um, oh no, that's the wrong way, isn't it? Because the face, nope. So we want that that way to go backwards. Right, here goes. Right, so the drone is moving on its own. Cruise control. Right, there's no one behind me. I think I should gain a bit of height. I have to keep up with it though. And here we go. So you can see there, I am not moving the controller because the sticks are taking over. Uh, let's carry on. Let's go a bit more faster. Turn that knob a bit. In fact, I'm gonna come over here. So we need to move that drone around a bit. Yeah. I'm gonna jump over this bit. All right, let's increase that altitude a bit. Actually, let's come off that and do a sideways. 
So let's just spin the drone. Oh, I can barely see though, the sun. All right. So this time we need to do the knobs. Let's think about that. That way. So we need to turn that around the right and screw that. And there we go. So he is moving. I'm not sure fast enough yet. Let's give it a little bit of a more short little turn. There we go. Bit more faster. Lower that gimbal down. And there we go. That's our walking pace. What I must remember to do is to adjust our return to home position. We need to set out to the controller and not the home point. There's a few bushes out here I've got to watch out for. In fact, I might go a bit higher. Lower that gimbal down. There's nothing in the way then. And that's about walking pace. So we're at um, 1.3 meters a second. So I might try and increase that a bit. Walk a bit faster. Here we go. Yeah, I'm walking a bit fast now. So I'll screw it to the max on cine mode. Yeah, and that's a bit too fast now. Don't think I'll be able to keep up with that. I might have to run. Yeah, I'm going off screen now, so I'll unscrew that bit. Here we go. In fact, let's go back a bit. Um, we're a bit close, aren't we? Right, how about there? Raise that gimbal up. Right. Go up a bit. In fact, I'm going to update our home position now, so we're going to the safety menu. In fact, I've never actually done this. Um, safety, where is it? Advance. Uh, let me turn the drone's still moving. Let me turn that off for a bit. Uh, control. Do, do. Camera. Must be in safety. Have I missed something here? Update home point. There you go. So drag the home point to adjust the position. So we are here. Let's just put it there. Oh, there you go. Yeah, we're only three meters away. Right. So let's carry on. Screwing that screw down and here we go start to move 0 0.3 meters a second a bit faster some cyclists coming past and a nice little dog over there you'll see him in a minute Hello. Hello. Right. Where is it? Uh, it's there. <laughs> Can you see it? It's there. Up there. <laughs> yeah, and you you get a live view look yeah, of yeah. us, yeah. <laughs> and obviously you can move up and down. Yeah, left fun. and right. <laughs> it's in the sun, that's such oh yeah. Mm. Let me bring that uh How long can it fly for? Uh about twenty two minutes. Yeah, which ain't bad, we, yeah. Think you've got another battery charge yeah, up in there. That's it, yeah. <laughs> fun to do. Yeah, it's a good bit of How fun. How far away do you let it go? Well, you're not supposed to go well beyond, beyond visual line of sight, so yeah. 500 meters at most. <laughs> but you can go six kilometers apparently. But really? Yeah. But not a um, thousand miles from Moscow. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's carry on going. 
All right, we'll carry on flying. What I do, what I do, I switch back to the um, the front of me, probably now. So the sunscreen those. Let's come forward. Right, there we are. Uh, it's come a bit lower. And now we will switch that round and go backwards, which is at the bottom. Is that the right way? Can't quite remember. No, it's at the top, isn't it? Uh, I need to spin that a bit that way. Right, here we go. Cruise control for the DJI Mini 2 SE. Here it goes. Oh, we've got 16 minutes left. So again, you can see I'm not touching the remote. Ah, it's come a bit lower for a bit of fun. Uh, raise the gimbal up. I have to watch out for these plants though. Yeah, it's blowing around quite a bit. <clears throat> Let's ease that speed off a bit, I can't keep up. And push the drone to the left to get it back on track. Here we go. I can catch the drone up now. Should be able to anyway. Yeah, there you go. It's just above my head, it looks close, but... In fact, it'll probably lift up when it sees my head. Yeah, it's up there. Just a bit left. And let me just let that go for a bit. Raise that gimbal up. Yeah, it's these quite cool little knobsies, huh? I actually got um, four. So I was thinking if anyone can guess my battery count at the end of the video, what I do, I'll blur it out, I'll send you, I'll send you a pair. If you don't win them, they are uh, eight pound on Amazon, so it's not bad. I wonder if I should follow me from behind. Probably not, because there's people behind me. Right, let's increase that speed. Yeah, so it's a cheap little hack. Cruise control for the DJI Mini 2 SE. Or any, it fits the RCM1, so any can, drone that uses that controller. Might have to start running in a minute. Well, we're 250 metres away from our last home position. Move that left a bit, stay on track. Uh, let's go a bit faster. In fact, I need to spin it around so it doesn't keep wandering off. There we go. Keep control of it. Move it right to the right. That's going a bit fast now. I have to start running. Right, there's some people coming, so I'm going to take the speed down a bit and go higher. In fact, I'm going to take the speed off and show you a bit of the area. So I'm going to fly on this field a bit. Let's get this way. So you can still fly with the knobs on. Over here, we've got a massive, it's quite a big industrial park, Harwell Business Park, if we can see that. Uh, there should be two great big pillars. Yeah, if I raise that gimbal up, zoom in. And to the left, yeah, that's Harwell Business Park. Right, let's come on, zoom on in. 
There's lots of people in the air today. There's a paraglider helicopter just flew over. Let's go ahead and fly, fly over this way. See what we got. Lower that gimbal down. Right, what I think I'll do, I'll bring the drone back and follow me on the way back. See how long we get out of this battery because we've been flying quite slow. So we are going this way. So again, we need to put that at the top. I keep forgetting which way around it is. To put our cruise control on. Nope, that's going the wrong way. We can just... Twist that round at the back to go forwards. Right, here we go. Let's go a bit higher. We've got 40% battery left. Right, so let's bring the, there's no more people around now, so let's unscrew that knob. Right, and let's bring the drone to us. Right, send her lower, a bit left. Spin it around a bit. How high do we go? That's, that's about right. We're back on track. So we go left into the middle of the track. And let's go ahead and screw that knob on in. Oh, wrong way again. <laughs> so it's at the front. Here we go. All right, how far are we? Let's go to one meters a second, which is now, yep. Uh, lower that gimbal. Down a bit. And there we go, once again, that is active track on the, not active track, sorry. Cruise control on the Mini 2SE. Increase our speed a bit. Watch out for this bush. Yeah, you've got to be careful because it's quite easy to crash like this. I've gone too fast now. All right, let's come, let's come in for a land now. I think I've been flying for 16 minutes. Unscrew those knobs. See if I've got the uh, that gimbal. Let's go ahead and land for a catch. Uh, oh, it's annoying when it does that. Yeah, and there we go. Cruise control for the DJI Mini 2SE. Yeah, if you want to win a pair of these, just let me know in the comments the number you think of my battery count and I'll uh, post the results in about a week or so and see you lucky winner of these. Yeah, if you want to buy them, I'll put a link in the description. They're £8 for two or eight fifty for four, I think. So if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. I've got to walk home now. See you later.